Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to my channel and a little time of crafting here. Uh, we are going to be making some library pocket ephemera for my upcoming cookbook journals. And I'm kind of working on some ephemera, so I thought I would turn the camera on and kind of show you what I'm doing. What you're gonna need is some kind of template. So I have two different templates. I have one that I personally cut myself out of a um, cutting mat so I can see it. And what's good about this is if I wanna center something like on a tag and I put it down on something, I can see where it is. I can trace around it, say it's on like, like this. So I wanna get this in and I wanna decide. It kind of helps me like Okay, I'm gonna get them definitely in, or if I wanna use them on the pocket, then it helps me decide where I wanna cut. So I would probably cut, like, get them all in, and I would go like that, trace around it, and cut it out. So you can either have homemade ones, or there are so many resources online. If you put in free printable library book pocket or library card pocket, there are tons of them come up and uh, there's lots of resources. Some other things that you could use are actually library card pockets. So I've got these two that I picked up uh, out of a book. I just pulled them out of the book that I had. And um, so you can open those up, use that as a pattern if you want. And this was a printable one that I, I got. So that's another style. And then some things that you want to tuck into your pocket. So I'm, today I'm going to use some recipe cards, handwritten. I've got typewritten ones. I have blank, different blank ones. Some vintage ephemera that could fit. I also have these little dividers, like food and groceries, I guess I could do. And then I have like a regular tag. So those are some items that you can use as your bases. Some other things that you could tuck in the pockets are, remember we made these little, um, I forgot what the, what the, what they were called, what I called them, I forgot. But anyway, uh, these little strips, we made them. And so I pulled some of those cause those will be fun to tuck in pockets. I also have some vintage, wallpaper for decorating. I cut a few ladies out in their house coats and these came out of um, gosh, 1939 book that I have. And what else? I have some book pages I can use and some more book pages. I have recipes that I could mount on some paper and tuck inside. I have some, I printed these out from a book that I have picked up while I was in Italy and uh, this company is no longer in business but I don't know that they're copyright free so I'm gonna use these in my own personal one. And I printed out some of that feed sack material and I had this uh, gingham printable from Retro Hip Magazine. And so I thought those looked cute together and I thought popping her on there, that would be cute. I also have some other printables, uh, AC Digitals I have. And then I printed out some different printables that I had on my computer that I thought would be fun. And how I use this is I print them, I have a laser printer, but you don't have to use a laser printer. If you, as long as you're not gonna get it wet or using wet media on it. Uh, but these are actually labels, and I love picking up label paper when I go to estate sales or thrift stores because uh, you can print out all your digitals on them, and then it makes um, fake washi or just labels. So that's a little tip for you. I also pulled some magazines. This is Woman's Day because I may want to, like I said, like, here, this would be super cute for a dish towel. And then if I wanted to put that on a tag inside the library pocket, I've already got my tag shape that's gonna fit inside of there. And so then what I would do is I would just put it over and decide where I want it, right? And then I would uh, trace around it. So 
I'm just kind of going through, seeing what I want. Oleo margarine. Oh my goodness, oleo. So look at her, right? So anyway, I could go through. Good to feel good. I don't know why they called them prunes. Because just the name prunes just is like, what? Okay, see, she's cute. Look at her. I could put her right on here. And then I could always just cover that with a label or keep it, uh, paint over top of it, and still use it. So I may end up using that or I may just fussy cut her out so here I could like fussy cut her out she's cute does she fit on a tag she does so let me cut her out real quick because I will can use her all right so anyway just go through your magazines and uh Man, what, this is 1953. Look at that cake. Yummy, regal butter cake. Okay, now we're talking. It's so pretty. This is where I get lost because, ah, muffins. Like, <laughs> I don't know about you, but a good baked good is so yummy. <laughs> okay, so let's put those aside. And uh, let's get started. Let's, so we're gonna make the background page uh, first, and I'm gonna use this template. And I am just going to cut it from any kind of paper. I'm gonna use this printable. She is really cute. She'd be cute on this pink. And should I put her on this pocket? She'd be cute on the pocket. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just Trace around my template. Now, if you have a die cutting machine and you can die cut them, how wonderful is that? So if you have, let's do that one. Let's cut this out. Okay, so let me see. If I do that, what do I want to use as the back? That's nice. Let's just use this one. Back side of it. I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and line it up. Like so. Hopefully you are getting some crafting in. These are massive scissors, they're 14 inch, but because I cannot cut in a straight line to save my life, it helps me when I have to do a cut because I can just literally close my hand and it comes out straight. So that's why I have a massive, and they were two, they were, uh, two for $14. I got them, I think I got them on Amazon a couple years ago. Okay, so now let's just take my corner rounder. This uses a one inch. And those are by EK Success. I don't know if they still make them. And let me get out my, hold on a second. Cause I think it'll be easier. If I just use my Oh, I forgot to tell you too. I also um, have these Amy J Delightful printables that she has from the kitchen. I thought these would be super, super cute also. And, and then I also have a bunch of die cuts and stickers and things. Uh, I forgot the name of this company. Gosh, they weren't out very long. Kind of came at the end of the big scrapbooking boom. And I oh, wish I could remember their name. Anyway. Uh, jelly bean soup. That's what it was. Jelly bean soup. 
Um, really nice people. I met them at CHA. Okay. Now I'm just gonna cut out this corner a little bit at an angle. Just snip that just to get rid of the bolt on the corner. So I can either take it and I can put it behind, like wrap it like the other ones, or I can uh, like that and wrap it on the back. I'm gonna probably put this down on the page so that'll be fine. So, or you can put them on the front and then your back is clean. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna use some our air clear glue. Make sure I get it on the edge there. I think I came in too far on the template. It's okay. We have plenty of paper in the house. And I can Always do another one. Okay. Now let's see if she fits though. If she doesn't, I'll have to make another one. Okay, I do not like these scissors. They are so hard to squeeze. Fussy cut her out. Look at her with her double strand of pearls and pearl earrings. It's funny. Back in the day when the ladies used to, well, I don't know. Did they really dress up? We didn't have social media back then. Do they really dress up like that? Or was that all just for like television and magazines? You know? Let me see if I have to, her hand is gonna fit. Oh, it should be a little tall, but I don't mind that. If she sticks out a little bit, I can just mount her on something. All right. Do I need her hand up like that? No. Let's see how this cut it. Like that. I think I need some, something right there. Or what about just a strip of, let me see. Ooh, I've got this little bit of, this has kind of pinky in it. Kind of brings that. <laughs> mm. has some pink pink in it do I just do some circles that'd be cute how about we do that um, let me get my circle punches
stuff's really brittle. I don't even know if it's gonna punch, but I kind of want a little bit of that pink in there, but I don't wanna cut into the whole thing. So I think what I'm gonna do I'm going to tuck that behind her like that. Green and pink. And then let's see. I like the green and pink. Do I just do it? Texture of green. I think I'm gonna do just a texture of green. Maybe in the bigger. It's one and a quarter and the one inch punch. Ah. Wham. over there just in case I need them again. All right, let's glue it down and I'm gonna glue her on some cardstock, I think. Just her head part. Put her head on. I will cut around her. Okay. Let's glue her down. Oops. Okay. Let's put her in here. Push her down there. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. You know what I should put on there is, hey girl, hey. I'm going to. Okay, so what I do is, oh, that's got that thing already on it. I don't know why I'm using my giant scissors. <laughs> giant scissors, hold on one second. Okay, there. Then I'll do hay. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do There is that one. I need, I think I need to add just a few little tiny little blings. 
And for that, I do have some little stars, glitter stars. Let's see, I'm gonna put like one there, one there, and one there. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, so cute she is. Hey girl, hey. Okay, now we just need a pocket to go <laughs> inside of, I mean, or something to go inside of her. So let's do, put this on, put this on. Uh, let's find some cute stuff to put in there. Let's put in, um, can just put in how about a typed written it's for brownies like that there isn't that cute okay let's do another what else we have? Uh, let's do one of these ladies. And let's do uh, I love her with her all her sassiness. Maybe I'll put her on the tag. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me cut her out. So I think if I cut there. That's gonna work. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna put a reinforcer. I ink these ahead of time. I just do it right on the pat right on the page, and then that way they're good to go. Okay. Let's put her on there. Cute. Okay. Glue her down. Okay page or something to glue her on. I'll get my glue stick and I'm thinking I want to maybe add in something down there even though you're not going to see it because we're going to put her in a library card that I have in here. Oh, I do have this. Let's get a piece of this. down here. So I just use it <clears throat> like washi or sticker, sticker tape. Like so. And then I think 
I'm going to add an actual piece of my own tape. torn tape. I made this with alcohol ink. I did a did a whole video how to play with alcohol ink. Some stuff you can do it on. Let's take it from this side. This was working fine. on there like so and then how about should I put a little piece at the top maybe glue her down. Little Miss Sassy in her snood. Okay, let's get her glued down. perfect for uh, writing out anything you need to write out, right? Okay, now let's make a pocket. Alrighty, so let me see, because she's gonna be above the pocket, which I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alright, let's do this. So, does it matter? No, it really doesn't. Traced. This is that free printable I have in, if you have not gotten it out of my coffee shop, it's Feed Sack, it's called. It's just so cute. Alrighty. Oh, I need to do another one. Let's do this. And actually, I can do it on this white part because it's getting folded under. Now, let's see if I can fold it under better. And I'm Maybe I need to draw a line where you fold it. gonna get this one done. I've got company coming and I have so much to get done but I wanted to get a video up for you guys this week because I had I have my thrifted um, one haul done but I don't I didn't have Actually, you know what thing I'm gonna do? I'm going to do this. Take that. There. I'll do 
it that way. And then Anyway, I felt like I needed to get something done, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set my timer for an hour uh, and hopefully get a video done for you guys and get it posted. I did my goals for this year and one of the things I wanted to get more consistent, I kind of started the end of last year, but I wanted to get more cons consistent with um, more posts and different content. So I figure I'm gonna take advantage of making these recipe book journals and get some recording done. Oh my gosh, okay. Love that. You know what she needs? She needs some little cork dots. <laughs> she needs a couple of little cork dots, I think, to finish her out. It's got sticker stuff on it. Let's see, maybe one over here. One over here. And one down there. That is the tag. Should I put something at the top? You know what would be cute is some rickrack. Let me, I have a piece right out here for that purpose. I have some red rickrack. That would be really cute. Coming out the top of the tag. Do I want to put that out the top of the tag? Or I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I need something down at the bottom of this pocket. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the rick rack. Yeah, I like that way better. Okay. Put a little bead of glue. And it. Do that. And then, yeah, I like that better. And then I need some little scissors. I know they are piled in here somewhere because I know I just had them. Oops. Pulled it off. Okay, then instead of rig rack at the top, I think, or I thought, oh, you know what? I have that red, I have this red label. Let's put something on here. How about, Okay, what are we gonna put? Um, you know what's fun to use? Okay, wait, let me see. I thought I had some, I do. I have a little bit of lace at the top. Uh, what's fun to do is to go through your advertisements and let's see. Like Coffee Best or Fine, fresher, finer, better. Beauty captured. Naturally the freshest. 
Uh, no rolling, no baking, just mix and chill. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> no rolling, no baking, just mix and chill. Let's see if I can do it. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have done it on the typewriter. How about just mix and chill? Okay, now, do I wanna do it here, here, cut it up and put it up there, or just cut it up and put it here? You know what I've got? I have a label thing. I have this thing, so maybe, huh, I must have been testing out markers. I can do, like, um, like this here, maybe. And then do around it. Let's see. All right, let's do that. Let's go. Let's just do. This, I'm, I don't know, I may have to come back and glue it down. Like, just. Mix. Put one of these down here. Maybe. Oh, you know what? Before I put it down, I could have. Will it still go in there if I just hit it with a little? It might get in the way. I was going to hit it with a little um, staple. I think I need a third one. Put it down here. Okay. Let's put this little bit of lace at the top. Okay guys, this is what we did. Got these two done. Get, go and download some templates and get your stuff out and get playing and tag me and show me what you're making if you made any of these. All right, I will be back for another play date. And if you wouldn't mind, could you hit the thumbs up for the like if you enjoy my content and also hit the notification bell if you want to receive more of my content and also subscribe to my channel and comment below and let me know if you're gonna make these or not or if you're even interested in crafting at all and what era of crafting you enjoy. And yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks guys, bye.